On the 23rd of December, I'm still basically immobilized and assume this is the result of the falls, my hips and thighs. If I remain in a position for more than 15 minutes, I experience great pain when I try to move. This increases during the day. The front of my upper thighs, the tendons at the front hip joint, pain, almost unable to move. There must be something pinched somewhere. I don't think massage is the answer. I've started a series of massages, the Pintasweda and Sirodara at the ETM nursing home. I'm seeing a Dr. Ramachandran, highly respected, who says that I have swollen nerves and is prescribing medicines and treatments, one of which is this head oil treatment. In the Sirodara treatment, I lie on my back. Hanging a few inches above my head is a clay pot which is kept full of oil. One woman swings the bowl back and forth, left to right, with one hand and massages the area with the other. Her partner keeps refilling the bowl. The oil is a mixture Dana Danta Ramchatam oil and Mahanayana Thailand. This lasts for one hour, and though it feels quite nice, because of lying on my back on such a hard surface, I am in increasing pain, so I can't really relax and enjoy it. It's impossible to imagine making that long trip home. I'm also pretty much unable to attend any performances, although I can get a little relief from ibuprofen and Tylenol. On the 27th, I go to the Metropolitan Hospital to see Dr. Raj Kumar, a spine specialist. He wants to admit me to the hospital for four days of bed rest, immediately. After that, I would wear a brace for eight weeks. I'm supposed to check in in a couple of hours, but I just don't think I can do it. When I think of what it all means, checking out of Lucia, what to do with my valuables, my camera, and then having to cancel my reservation in Irinjalakuda on the 1st of January. He's a very nice doctor and the best in the field, but I am who I am, which I guess means that I will go my own way and tough it out. I'm also not completely convinced of his diagnosis. Moving very slowly is actually rather nice. I never move slowly on the street in San Francisco. It makes me feel more vulnerable, easy prey. On the 29th, I start getting some relief if I pop an additional Tylenol. That can last four or five hours, and I try to keep ahead of it. If I get behind in the medication, then movement becomes painful and slow, especially after being in a stationary position for more than five or 10 minutes. Being sick here has really given me a sense of being at home. On the 1st of January, there's still no improvement, but I'm learning to live with it. I would still rather be here than at home. On the 15th, there are two consecutive all-night performances of Katakali, one of the reasons I made this trip. Ordinarily, I retire at 10.30 and rise at 6 a.m. after a night spent in pain. Any muscle pressing the mattress has a stabbing pain after 10 minutes. Or I can go to a Katakali performance beginning at 11 p.m. and ending at 7 a.m. I prefer the latter. For some reason, it doesn't hurt as much. Two days later, I realized that I probably should have not done both all-nighters. My condition is worsening daily. Should I make plans to go home sooner while I still can? Whatever it is that is wrong with me seems to be progressing. Arms, wrists, hands, tips of the fingers. Last night, I was forced to listen to the midnight drumming Chendamalam from my room, since even rolling over in my bed was almost impossible. Ordinarily, I would be in the front row. The ibuprofen doesn't seem to be doing much anymore, even though I'm taking 32 milligrams a day. I head for Madras. A friend of a friend of a friend takes me to Apollo Hospital. 
where they want to admit me immediately. I plan to continue home while I still can. Things are getting so bad that I feel like I might not even make it. I probably need an MRI. I'm worse at night. I can barely dress myself. A wheelchair has been ordered.